Yes, I guess for both of you, just kind of curious, when you start the game, oh, here to you, right? When you start the game, <laughs> six for like 34, obviously not shooting it well. What changes hope that all of a sudden you kind of go on those runs? Uh, and is it kind of a contagious thing? Yeah, it's definitely contagious, but I think what changes is, you know, we just say, just let it fly. You know, uh, I think we loosened up a little bit there. In the second quarter, you know, guys are uh, just more aggressive. No shooting shots, you know, I think um, you know, in the huddle, you know, we understand, like, we've been here so many times, you know, where defense has been stellar, but we haven't been able to make shots, and, you know, it's kind of, uh, we got to a point in that where it's just like, man, let's just go out and let it go. This is from Mike Scott, this is Edward Powell, Hawks speak. Mike, I'm wondering, your team was a little tight when you got in the game. You seemed to play very carefree. What was your mindset when you entered the game? Um, just play with a lot of energy, uh, be aggressive. I don't think I was aggressive uh, in Boston for those two games. Um, just getting back to my game, not worrying about my shot, just uh, you know, doing the little things and uh, you know, just having fun. So Tony, you're with Sports Fire Magazine. You guys seem to do a really good job at locking down Isaiah Thomas. Was he just having an off night or were you applying a certain kind of pressure? What was the strategy there? Um, we'll keep that in the wraps. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but then uh, we just, uh, we got back to what we're doing in games one and two, just, you know, showing them a crowd and, uh, you know, trying to let the other guys beat us and, you know, getting our contested shots, you know, the difference between the night and the past two games is, you know, they had a lot of guys making a lot of shots. Uh, you know, Mark Smart was huge, and then up in Boston, uh, Jerecko was huge. So, uh, you know, tonight, you know, we you know, just you know, let the percentages catch up, and you know, there those guys to make shots and uh, came on top. Like there was an instance early in the game where you got Mark Smart on the switch and really sort of uh, patiently backed him in, used that uh, post game of yours, and a couple of instances of that. Is that something you're looking for from his batches that you can take advantage of? Yeah, um, it just goes back to being aggressive. Um, my, my teammates always tell me, you know, if I ever get a mismatch, just, uh, you know, score, uh, do what you do. So um, I just have to be able to do that. Uh, sometimes I don't, so uh, I'm not aggressive. So tonight I just, you know, I'm just saw red. Jim Hart, AP Radio, real close start there. You kind of had a trouble getting it going. How much did that loosen you up when the shots started dropping and how big was it to get this up to 3-2? Um, it's always a, always great to see shots going in this league. You know, this is a, a make or miss league. And, uh, we've been missing a lot lately and, uh, you know, it's just when you get the crowd behind you, then you make a few in a row and, you know, you just light up. The rim gets bigger and bigger. So. Um, you know, it's good, you know, for us heading back on the ropes, you know, this is next game is definitely a game we have to make shots and, uh, you know, try to close them out. So um, it's good to, you know, kind of see the ball go through the net uh, in live action because you come into practice gym and, and shoot, you know, lights out, but, you know, it's all about carrying it over. So it was a real uh, reassuring thing. Hey, Ken, uh, oh, you said ESPN.com. What did you guys learn from those two games in Boston that you can take forward to game six? Because I think as a franchise, the Hawks have lost like 10 straight playoff games. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the intensity, you know, it's different. It's a different level up there. You know, they're used to, you know, uh, you know that franchise that town is used to seeing, you know, the NBA Finals there. So uh, they have a different aura, you know, when you step into that gym and, you know, that, that jump ball goes up, you know, they're, they're rooting from, you know, the 48th minute down to the end. So. Um, it's definitely a, a different atmosphere, um, uh, but you know some players thrive in it, and you know it's, it's tough for others. Uh, but I think with us going up there, you know, losing two tough games, uh, I think uh, you know this this one should be a tad bit easier in the mind. You know, to, to know we've already been there and, and battled. So uh, that's, it's definitely going to be tough. You know, it's going to be tough to go up there and win. You know, close it out. Uh, but um, I think um, you know, tonight uh, really you know, gives us a you know, mental edge, you know, heading into the next game. All right. Thanks, guys.